sure you heard what Ian said about the batting issue. But um, it's your turn. How do you, how do you fix the batting? Yeah, it's a tough one. I think we, we always knew that we were going to be under pressure um, if the conditions went around a bit. I think it's... South Africa, the, the, the conditions are not the same. The ball doesn't swing. Our contact points are a little bit different. Um, and uh, I know that there's, there's talk of experience in that, but you know, these batters that are here, um, they have been consistently the best batters in our country. Um, you know, if, if you have a look at the last, call it top seven batters that came to play against England and won the last series. I think between them, there's 470 odd test matches between the top seven. With our top 10, or, or 10 of the batters that batted in the top seven this series, I think we're on, on about 170. So there's a, a big difference. Um, the only way you get experience is to, is to actually go out there and play. Um, and these guys, we, you know, we, we backed a couple of our batters to, to play in quite a few test matches in conditions where the ball went around a bit. Um, you know, they haven't come off, um, which is, been an issue for us um, and we are sort of forced into a position in this last game where you know we had to give opportunities to other, other guys um, you, you know it's you can't just keep going on with the same guys and, and they keep failing and, and um, sometimes it gets into their head as well and you, and you can see guys really trying hard but almost like sinking sand the harder they try the, the deeper they fall in so the batting was an issue um, I think our top average was 27 um, which is just not good enough and we can't hide away from it um, and we go, we've got to find a way how to, how to put it right. For those English, uh, do you think maybe there's an element where the, where the batters have a little bit of fear of when you see England's kind of fearlessness of that given them freedom to play? Is that something you've addressed? We, we give the guys freedom to play, um, to express, them, um, express themselves. Each and every guy, I mean, the way that England would like to go out and play, um, you need to have the characters to do that first of all. Uh, a lot of their guys are, are, are good one day and white ball cricketers as well. Um, I think you, you have to, in these conditions, uh, trust your defence um, and we haven't been able to keep out their good balls and I think that has been the issue um, as well. I mean, it's, it's one thing to, to say to guys, go out there and play with a bit of freedom, um, but there's consequences when guys are fighting for their test spots and, and fighting for their careers. So as much as a coach can say to you, listen, go out there and play with the freedom within your blueprint, uh, we want you to be nice and aggressive, we want you to, to, to play a good attacking style of cricket. Um, it's, it's up to the individual and the character that comes with it, um, who, who trusts his defence and, and, and really goes out and, and, and tries to, to dominate an attack. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's no message um, that, that hasn't been given to batters to be able to go out there and play the way that has got them here in the first place um, and with the technique that they've got as well. That's the other thing as well. You know, we've been exposed with, with quite a few techni technical um, flaws. Um, but it's a fine line as a coach because a guy comes in here and you don't want to change him. This is not an academy of learning. This is test, test cricket, international cricket. So you don't want to change him too much because you also don't want to give them the option to say, well, I came in here playing my way. Um, I've gone into test cricket. You've tried to change me and you know, maybe I should have just been myself. So that's the fine line as a coach where you've got to, you've got to maybe just look at, look, go back to the drawing board and say, right, let's have a look at you playing in all these different conditions and experiencing all of this. Um, and, and hopefully try and get it right the next time you come back here. You look at Hashim Amna's, his technique when he first started playing test cricket to what it is now. I mean, that's just, that's uh, conditioning over a lot of, lo lots of time, a lot of experience going through a couple of ups, a couple of downs. And, and that's what these guys have to go through. I think, you, I think you can always back players who haven't got the numbers if there's guys batting around them who are scoring the numbers um, and if you're winning test matches. So I think you, whoever, you, know, you, you want to back a player, um, but if, you, if you're not performing as a batting group, then those low numbers are going to stand out and that's exactly what's happened with us. Um, you know, if we've had one or two guys who, who maybe, if you have a look at all the averages in the whole series, um, I don't think the, the batters were, were too good from both teams, but they were two or three in the English side who, who really stood out with averages above 50. Um, if we had that in our side, then yes, probably we could have given a couple more opportunities for the guys who are struggling a bit. So that, that just comes with either you winning um, or someone else is at least scoring the runs for you in your particular batting side.
together can be better for soul searching and, and looking around and all the talk about the lack of three test series that South Africa has in the future. Just wondering, do you, do you actually worry about the future of, of test cricket in South Africa in the current climate? Yes, I think uh, you know to to lose sight of, of Test cricket and and uh, sort of lose games and all that type of stuff is not great. I mean, I'm a, I'm a purist, so I love Test cricket to bits. Um, I think it's the, the truest form of the game and, and one that we really need to look after and take care of. Um, so I think the the heads uh, in the game of cricket need to get together and we need to find a way of, of how we how we play more Test cricket. Um, you know, because it's it is exciting, especially with the way that the games are getting played now. You know, it's very seldom that you, you have draws, um, so I think it is quite exciting for the game. Uh, the game's moved forward maybe because of T20 cricket. Guys are playing shots that they never would usually play. Uh, so it's, a, it's attacking and it's, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice sort of um, game to watch at the moment. So the more we, the more we see it, I think um, the better it'll be for, for everyone. I'm, I'm disappointed because um, I think that it's, it's a missed opportunity. Um, you know, we, we played some very good cricket, but then I think we let ourselves because we, we, you know, we, we just didn't put the runs on the board. So we, we never quite knew how, how, how we could test England in, in a way. I mean, you know, you'd need to take 20 wickets. We believed that we, we had the, the bowlers to be able to take 20 wickets. Um, but bottom line is you've got to score runs as well and we just didn't get the runs on the board. So, yes, disappointed from that. Um, but understanding, you know, our guys didn't go out and, and, and play Maverick cricket. We, we tried really hard. I mean, yesterday was, I could see it. The guys are really trying hard, um, but they just got, they got tested and, and maybe, you know, fell short with, with regards to uh, their batting technically um, and also some good bowling. Um, but we knew, we knew England had a good bowling attack. Um, so we knew we were going to get tested. Uh, unfortunately, we, we just couldn't stand up to it.